This is the PMDG 737 FMC Tutorials Part 4 Performance Initialization or commonly known as Perf Init. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to complete the FMC performance or how to initialize the FMC performance correctly. And before I get started please show your support to this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing. And as a reminder, this channel is all about flying with simulators. In the previous tutorial, part 3, I showed you in detail how to complete the PMDG 737 FMC root page. I showed you the tips and tricks to build a flight plan. Now, following the FMC preflight sequence, in today's video, I'm gonna cover the perf init page or the performance initialization page. Now, before I can do anything in this page, first I need to complete the airplane loading, including both the fuel and payload as planned by the SimBrief dispatch. This action is accomplished by going to the menu page and selecting FS actions. In this page, I'm gonna use both the fuel and payload prompts to complete the airplane loading. Let me first start with the fuel. Let me find my uh, planned fuel for this flight using my SimBrief document, page one. Scrolling down to the planned fuel section, as you can see here, and looking for my block fuel. Here it is, 14,399 pounds. I'll round it to 14,400 pounds. Then I'll put this in the total line select. Now the fuel loading is done. I'll select return to go back to the FS actions page and complete the payload. Now the easiest way to complete the payload page is to enter the zero fuel weight. And this can be found in the SIM brief dispatch document page one. As you can see here, estimated zero fuel weight 127,640 pounds then I need to put this in thousands of units here is zero fuel weight line select so it's gonna be 127.6 now it's the appropriate time to go back to perf init page and complete the figures starting with the zero fuel weight now the FMC has already calculated the current zero fuel weight. Now if I press uh, the line select key, this will put the current zero fuel weight in the scratch pad. Then another click on the line select key to put this value on the zero fuel weight boxes. Now to complete the other data inputs, I need to go back to my document and find the required figures. Starting with the cost index 28, average wind 253 slash 042, the planned cruising altitude is flight level 300, the final reserve plus alternate fuel is 4954 pounds, and the average ISA is plus 010. Now I'll be using these figures to complete the perf init page. Starting with reserves, I'll put in thousands of units, 5.0 in the reserves boxes. My cost index is 28. My cruise altitude is flight level 300. The average cruise wind is 253 slash 42. Finally, for the temperature deviation, I'll put the ISA, which is uh, plus 10, in the ISA deviation line select. At this point, you can make a quick review to ensure that the all inputs uh, agree with the document. Finally, I press execute to activate the performance initialization page. And that's all for the today's tutorials. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.